Very curvy shape, this lip. I doesn't get too involved in it though, because it's the positions and it's the shapes between that are most important. So, very quickly, let's check that everything is in the right place, leaving a quite a pointed chin and a strong jawline. You're probably content to leave that there. They're sort of about halfway up the body and therefore halfway up the paper. Uh, the posterior superior iliac spines. Now you can see these little depressions in this, mo this model. figure from life and I've tried to, to pose Kathy in similar sort of reclined pose to the one we looked at before. Fold coming across there which I'm going to try and leave by virtue of putting the light in. And I'll put it down and it's it's greyer than I like. So back to the mixing. Put a bit more blue in. That's better. Turn to the head. Back to representing hair. You can't draw every individual hair. You, you've got to think of it in terms of blocks of form. Mm -hmm. 